This is a stock trails chassis and today we're going to show you how to install the new front wheels. Uh, you may need to do this to an older stock trails if you're having trouble with the front wheels wobbling or flimmering as you go a little bit too quickly or they have a tendency to lock to the sides or they just feel a little bit too weak in the connection. Um, this occurs, these problems occur uh, because of a lack of greasing which is necessary uh, with the maintenance of this stroller. But in any case, um, it is now possible to more or less fix this problem in the vast majority of cases by swapping out for the new front wheels. So what you're going to want to do is take your stroller, flip it on its back, remove the front wheels, and uh, get your new front wheel. In the box, you have the wheels themselves, which you'll notice are different than the older wheels in that they have this big, fat suspension pad right around the axle. And also inside the box will be a small bag with these little bits, these pads that you're going to screw in tight to the front frame. So what you're going to want to do is uh, there's two screws here inside the wheel well. You're going to want to unscrew them. Take one of these pads and uh, this little divot here is for the uh, wheel locking well there. So you want to slide it in just like that. It fits in nice and tight. You can see actually that on the underside there's grooves here and they fit into the plastic lines. So it's a, it's a very tight fit. And then you're just going to want to screw those same screws back in nice and tight. And then we're going to do the other side. Same way. Put the uh, new pad in place. And then again, screw these screws back in. Screws go in a little bit angled, so uh, just be careful with that. Okay, once it's all screwed back in place, you're gonna wanna take a little bit of a, uh, like a thicker grease. In this case, I'm using food industry grease. This or a silicon putty are what is recommended. Uh, I have not tested it with a, like a multi-purpose car grease, which is thicker, but my suspicion is because it has such a good suspension now, you could also use that as well. But again, I haven't tested it. So um, for the sake of not making any mistakes, get a silicon, uh, silicon putty grease or food industry grease, even better. This is viral and uh, just squeeze a bit inside, a little bit on the outside. And I like to put a little bit right here in the locking well, because it helps to prevent uh, a clicking sound that sometimes occurs. And you'll notice when you push your new wheels back in place that there is a little bit, uh, it takes a little bit more force to get it to click. So you want to get it to click, check that it's nice, tightly locked, and then give it a few spins to work that grease around, and then you have the new wheels in place. Uh, this was a very strong improvement uh, on the trails. It worked fine before with proper maintenance, but it's, uh, it's nice that they've improved the suspension here. Uh, in any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you did, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.